and welcome to the WebMonkey Show. My name is Alex and today's video is going to be an update to a video I uploaded almost two years ago and that video was titled how to edit WordPress files with Notepad++. Basically a video demonstrating how you can work with the popular text editor known as Notepad++ to edit your WordPress files. Now a lot has changed since Notepad no longer functions the same way and in fact, the way you would install Notepad now is a little bit different. So this video is going to be an updated version of this old video I uploaded all those many centuries ago. Now, keep in mind that in order to work with Notepad++, you do need to have an FTP account. I do have a video here on the channel titled How to use FileZilla to FTP, which will show you how to create an FTP account from your web host's cPanel. So you can watch that video. I will put the link in the description box below. You can watch the video, learn how to create your FTP account, then watch this video on how you can work with Notepad++ to edit your WordPress files. Now sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and I'll catch you at the end. Alrighty, so let me now show you how you can install Notepad++ and also connect your FTP account with Notepad++. So over here, I am on the notepad++.org forward slash download page where you can download the different versions of, of uh, Notepad++. Now, as of today, August 20th, 2018, the latest version is 7.5.8. So what you want to do here is make sure you download the appropriate version. You've got the 32-bit, you've got 64-bit, mine is a 64-bit. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Notepad++ installer 64-bit x64. All right, I'm going to click on that one and I'm going to download it. So it's 4.4 megabytes. This shouldn't take too long. And it's done. So I'm just going to click in there and click yes. Click English. Click next. Click I agree. Click next. Click next. We can create a shortcut on the desktop. Click install. And voila. So now I'm going to click on finish. All right. So what we've got over here right now is the interface for Notepad++. However, if you jump over here to where you have plugins, you're not going to see the FTP plugin available. Now, let me clarify one thing. I've noticed from some other students that they got the uh, FTP plugin as soon as they installed the software. So I'm not exactly sure why some people have the FTP plugin automatically while some don't. If you do have the FTP plugin, you will see something like NPP FTP. That means you're okay. That means you're set. That means you don't have to take the next few steps. However, if you don't see NPP FTP, then that means you will have to install or that you have to download and then install the plugin uh, manually. So now let me show you how you can do this. Now I'm over here on this site on github.com. And this is where you can download the FTP plugin specifically for Notepad++. What I will do is I will attach the downloads for both the x64 and x86. Find them in the resources. You will have access to this too. So just make sure you pick the one that is appropriate for you. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to download, first of all, the one for x64 because I do have a 64-bit system. All right. And then once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and extract the files and documents inside this folder. Keep in mind that this is a zipped folder. Once you've extracted the files in your zip folder, you will see the NPP FTP X64 folder. And now inside that folder, you will see two other folders. You'll see the bin folder that has your NPP FTP DLL plugin file. And then in the other folder, you will have your doc, which is your documentation for this particular plugin. So what we have to do right now is to insert these two folders into the Notepad++ uh, folder in our system. So to do this, I'm going to jump over here to my other folders. I'm going to come over here to my, uh, my computer, this PC. I'm going to go to Acer. I'm going to go over to my program files. And then inside my program files folder, you will see the Notepad++ folder. This is the installation folder for the software. So in here right now, we have to add those two folders. And here's what I'm going to do, all right? I'm going to go back in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into bin. I'm going to cut the NPP FTP DLL. I'm going to cut that. And then I'm going to go back to my Notepad++. And then in here where you have plugins, I am going to paste 
the DLL in there. All right, provide admin access. All right, so make sure the nppftp.dll file is inside your plugins folder. Now I'm gonna go back to the original folder. So bin is empty, we don't need the bin anymore. Now for the doc folder, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, let me just cut this doc folder. I'm gonna cut it again, I'll cut the doc folder. I'll go back to the Notepad++ folder. And then in here, I'm gonna go into the plugins folder. And then where you have config, I'm gonna double click inside and I'm going to paste that doc folder in here. Provide admin permission once again. And there you have it. So make sure the nppftp.dll file is inside your plugin subfolder. And then for the doc folder, put it inside the config folder. All right, so from here right now, I'm gonna go back to my Notepad++. I'm gonna close it. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to run my Notepad++ again. Notepad++, let's open that once again. And now I'm gonna go to plugins and now voila, you should see the NPP FTP plugin available. So to now connect Notepad++ with our FTP account. I'm gonna click on show NPP FTP window. Let me just expand this a little bit. All right, so now to add our FTP credentials, I'm gonna click on the gear button right here, click on profile settings. So in here, I'm gonna click on add new, all right? And then for the new profile, I'm just gonna say, this is gonna be Weber, all right? Click okay. And now for the credentials previously, from the previous video, FTP, Testcopedia.com was our host name. Username was Weber at Testcopedia.com. My password. And then I'm going to click on close. And now to connect, simply click on the connect button right here. Click on Weber and you should be good to go. And there you go. Yep, I've successfully connected to my FTP account via Notepad++. So there you have it. Please, if you have any questions regarding this, do let me know. It is extremely important that you're able to connect your Notepad++ software with your FTP account. Notepad++ is for Windows. If you're on if you're using a Mac, for example, uh, you can use Sublime Text. Sublime Text is a very, very powerful uh, editing tool for uh, Mac users, and you have other text editors out there as well. So there you have it, the quick tutorial on how to work with Notepad++. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, be sure to put them in the comments section below. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, bye-bye.